Barak is seen as the soul of the NDC in the Aswansi constituency after taking over from the late Adamu Gabriel in 2005. Many believe that he being removed from the front bench will affect the party's fortunes in his stronghold as far as Greater Kumase is concerned. I'm very, very much disappointed. Why? Because um, our Prime Minister is just around the corner. Looking at this, it's like the leadership of the party, they didn't think enough and at least do them a favor because they are going to primaries. So they can take it like after the primaries, whatever changes they want to do, they can do. We just heard this news, but we hope it is just a rumor. But if it is true, that will be disastrous for our party. Look at this crucial moment. We are preparing ourselves to elect our members of parliament, their primaries. And we are preparing to elect our flag bearer. And this crucial moment, we are changing leadership of the party in the parliament house. What signal are you sending down to the party supporters, especially we, the Zongo people, and the Muslim community, and Northerners as a whole? Many also believe that now that he is not holding any position in parliament as a member on the minority side, maybe it will afford him the time to focus on his re-election as the parliamentary candidate for the NDC into the 2024 general elections. William Evans Inkum, TV3 News, Kumasi.